Welcome to Credit Matters. I'm Mike Skirbo, Standard & Poor's Corporate Ratings Group. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the U.S. car rental industry. I'm joined by Betsy Snyder, who's the director in the Transportation Group uh, based here in New York. Betsy, thanks for joining. Thank you. You were here about 12 months or so ago. We talked about the same topic. Uh, at that point, we were looking at uh, potentially uh, further consolidation mm -hmm. in this industry. Fast forward to today, really haven't seen much in the way of consolidation in the industry, so maybe you can just uh, provide some context. Okay. Actually, not much has happened. Uh, just over a year ago, Hertz made an initial bid for Dollar Thrifty, and then Avis Budget joined in that bid, and it went back and forth over the summer, and then finally, uh, September 30th, the Dollar Thrifty shareholders voted against Hertz's bid, and that's where things have stood since then. Avis Budget still has a bid out there, but nothing has happened. The Federal Trade Commission, which, which is the regulatory authority who is reviewing the acquisition still has not ruled on the acquisition. They've been looking at this for over a year when Hertz made their first bid. And so that nothing has happened. So finally, last, uh, last Monday, Hertz re-entered the, the bidding war. And they made a revised bid for dollar thrifty, And it substantially is about a billion dollars higher than their initial bid last year and about $500 million higher than the, the uh, bid that's outstanding for Avis budget. So um, they're back in. They think that they can get regulatory approval. They're already, they've already started the process. They think that enough has changed within the last year that justifies a higher price. The industry is performing better, and uh, they still expect substantial synergies from any transaction. Okay. Um, let's switch gears. You just mentioned the industry performing a little better. Maybe, maybe provide an update on, on what's occurred in, in the industry over the past several quarters. Well, the operating performance and financial performance of the industry has improved over the last 12 to 18 months. On the revenue side, they've benefited from um, stronger demand, although pricing has, has not moved all that much. And then expenses have benefited substantially from the uh, strong use car market. Uh, when they sell cars, they make in a strong used car market, they, they make a nice profit, and it lowers their depreciation expense. And we've been in record high environment for used car prices. There's a, a lack of product, and we expect that trend to continue over the next, um, the next several months because of the situation in Japan with the lack of components that are available to the manufacturers. So we expect there to be a, a shortage of vehicles, and especially to the used car market. At the same time, their financial, uh, their credit metrics have improved. They've, and their financial performance, they've uh, issued, they've all issued substantial debt to refinance upcoming maturities. So they've extended their maturities. They have a strong liquidity, and they've also reduced their interest expense because of the lower cost on the new debt that they financed. Sure. Okay. Let's go back to dollar thrifty that, that you mentioned earlier. Do we expect further bids? Um, there? Well, I expect that this is not the end of it. When, when Hertz made their, their bid last September, before the stockholders voted against it, they said it was their last and final bid. Well, obviously not, because they're back. So we expect that Avis budget is going to have to increase its bid. That's outstanding. Hertz uh, dollar thrifty stock is currently trading about um, $81 a share, at least it was today which is $9 higher than Hertz's bid and substantially higher than the outstanding Avis budget bid, which is about $58 a share. So we expect uh, Avis budget to come back. We, so far nothing has happened, but they've said in the past that they really would like to acquire this company, so we expect that this is not the end of things. Okay, l l last question, and that's helpful. How about Talk a little bit about what all this means. Pull all this together for, uh, relative to credit quality and ratings. Okay. Well, when this bid was announced last Monday, we placed Hertz's ratings on Credit Watch negative, and that was due to the added debt that would be used to finance this transaction. However, having said that, Hertz's um, 
The ratings were, are actually higher than they were last time out. We raised the ratings on Hertz last December to B plus from B, and that was based on their improved operating and financial performance. And having said that, we might end up affirming the rating if we think that it improves the business profile enough to offset the added debt. Dollar Swifty's ratings have been on Credit Watch since Hertz made its first bid last April 26, 2010. So they remain on Credit Watch because no matter who was being who the acquirer is, they're both rated higher than Dollar Swifty, so their ratings would be raised. And Avis Budget, we never did anything with their ratings, but. Um, we expect we would have to take a look at that any transaction, new transaction that they present, and to, to decide if we do place the ratings on Credit Watch and what that might mean to their existing B plus rating. That's great. Appreciate you coming on the program. Thank you. We'll see you again next time.